Christian, what is it about this team and kind of the mentality that goes along with it that allows you guys to continue to come back with your backs against the wall? It's the 6 a.m. lifts in the winter. It's the 5 a.m. road trips to uh, Wichita, Kansas. It's the snow in March. It's just it's the, it's the program, um, University of Connecticut. I mean, it's just the players we recruit. We're not going to get the perfect game, all Americans, like Coach Pender says, but we're going to get kids that are going to grind to the end. And that's just how Coach Pender's recruits, and that's how we do it here. The wind up. Stallings rips it up the middle off of Vance. He gloves it. He's gloveless. Flips to first. And he gets the out to end the ball game. It took 26 years, but the Big East regular season champions in 2011 are the Yukon Huskies. The Giants. And he hits it well to center field on his horses. Springer. Oh, oh. He the catch. Yes, he did. Holy cow. A one pitch. Richards pops it up. Right side of the infield. Melly says, I've got it. He does. And this one and the Big East Championship belong to the UConn Huskies. You know, Coach Penders kept harping on the fact that, you know, we could do it. We're dead men walking. So, you know, every, everybody on this team played a huge role, especially the younger guys. Two, two. Breaking ball lifted out toward left field. Topa underneath, and the Connecticut Huskies are the American Conference champions in 2016. As a junior, your first trip to the NCAA tournament, what does that mean to you? It's an unbelievable feeling. The 1 0. Swung on, popped up. Right side, Melly hand in the air. Melly makes the catch. And the Huskies survive. They advanced to a Super Regional in 2011. Fly ball, left field. Fedko hit it well. It is gone. Hey, Christian, every time we've seen you this weekend, you've had a smile on your face. Maybe none bigger, though, than when you hit your first career home run. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, the whole team's been uh, rallying around each other. I mean, we just playing with this fire the whole year. We're always just energetic. We always have some good energy. Our guys are trying to stay happy and positive throughout the game, losing or not. We bring energy to the team, and I like that a lot. We said this is our third regional, and uh, it's just kind of becoming the norm now. And, and I think in order to kind of get to that next step, that's what needs to happen. That you know, it can't be, um, you know, we just get to the tournament like whatever happens next is gravy. It, it's it can't be like that, and and I don't think it will be like that. And the 0-2, swung on, popped up. This should do it. The warden. Underneath it, ball game over. And it just feels right. No UConn one. returns back to the Big East, and they win the regular season there crown here in 2021. And it was awesome. It was um, it was good energy. I think it was uh, both both teams were going back and forth all day. We were down in that game, one nothing, and then Coach Benders brought us together, and we just responded. We love competing. We love playing with each other. We play for each other. That's the biggest thing is we play for each other. He got it looking. I, I, I literally wouldn't trade a single one of those guys. I, I'd go to war for every one of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I just love them. I, there's nothing else to say. I just, I love you. I love the coaches. I love the guys. And um, this is where I want to be. This is, I want to be here as long as I can be. I want to play as long as we can, not just for the postseason, but I don't want this to end, man. I'm, I'm having the time of my life with these guys. Pitch swung on, popped up. This should do it. Smitty. He will make the catch. Back to back years. UConn is the regular season champ in the Big East as UConn emphatically wins 17 to 6 over Xavier. On the ground to short. Padilla. Connecticut keeps the crown. The Huskies remain. Hey, this isn't enough. Mm -hmm. This isn't enough now. You know, we've, we've gotten to regionals. We've played okay in regionals. We've played not so okay in regionals. We need to go in with a lot of confidence and go win a regional, you know, and um, that's the next step, you know, and that, that needs to happen. This is a team capable of going to Omaha, and that's the expectation. That's, that's where the bar is set.
One, two. Swung on, hit in the air, center field. Long run for TC. He's got it. Ball game over. 11 years later, the Huskies are going back to the Super Regionals as they dogpile to the left of the mound to the boos of College Park. This magical season not over yet. The Houston Astros select George Springer, an outfielder from the University of Connecticut, Stores, Connecticut. Uh, I think, you know, when you look back, it's more, just like CJ said, it's it's the people that you share those, you know, really, really good and really, really bad times with. And, um, you know, dealing with always being around high caliber players and more importantly, high caliber people, which are the people that we have in this program, um, you know, makes the wins a lot better and, and makes the losses a lot uh, a lot easier to, to get over. Um, so I, I just think, you know, I know for me when I look back, uh, that's, you know, that's what I'm going to remember. Uh, Coach Penders and the whole coaching staff, I think even just labeling them as, as just coaches doesn't do them any justice. Um, as, you know, just great mentors and role models and, and just, you know, leaders. Uh, they know how to, you know, kind of take young, stupid, immature, um, kids who are, are really good athletes and, and just conform them into um, into men. That was one of the better at bats of the season right there. What a great at bat and a thrill for Mike Hall. Wow. It's only fitting that this first award goes to a center fielder George Springer of the Houston Astros, who hit five home runs in this great seven-game series. On the right-hander, Matt Barnes, who's closing games for the first place Red Sox and just turned those numbers into a nice little two-year extension this past week. Right there, the gold glover in the National League, Nick Ahmed. Still got him by almost three steps doing that. That wasn't even bang-bang at first. Tony Walters with the huge hit, and Scott Oberg to finish it off. And Andrioli going to third base, maybe beyond. Gary Jones going to wave him around, going to try to come all the way around, and he does. What a nice start for Anthony Kay. He has faced the minimum. It's cool to see familiar faces grinding, trying to do their things, and just trying to get a little better every day. I think that's what we're all here for, and um, we can't wait to get back to stores at some point, but definitely enjoy this while we can. We always say that UConn's a nationally uh, recognized brand. It's also internationally recognized when we can, when we can do things like this. We have a tremendous amount of pride. You know, we all played here. We all grew up in Connecticut. We've been here for a long time. We're very invested in it. We want to see the, the university, we want to see the program continue to grow. There's only been four coaches in the last, what, about 80 years of this program. That consistency makes a big difference. One of the secrets to how we've been able to stick around is that each guy kind of does a different role and stuff. I would say Desi and I are probably your, your two more emotional guys up and down like that. And Jeff and, and Coach Penders are obviously uh, the even keel guys. But what's great is that Coach allows us to coach with our style. At the core in their DNA is the Huskies. I'm very fortunate to have all UConn guys. And um, I tell them, hey, I want to know how can I get better today? Your attitude, concentration, effort, if, you, if those three are all working for you in the right direction, then in anything you do, whether it be baseball or in later life, if you just take those three and you're doing your hardest at that, then good things happen to you.